I got the brief uh, to take one kid from Scotland. And I said, well, we'll take them to, to the North Pole, the geographic pole. Uh, we'll make some that most people think is impossible and we'll train someone. Uh, I mean, there was lots of people uh, apply for it. I mean, kids from like Mulgai and Bersden who go to Val d'Isere four times a year with the parents, fantastic skiers, hope to ski for Scotland one day. They were motivated enough. Uh, I thought they're, they're going to be okay in life. I wanted someone at the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, and I met uh, young Chris, I mean, he goes to school uh, or went to school near Falkirk and I mean, a good lad but a shyer boy you could not get. Uh, he just never spoke. Uh, zero confidence, I would say, uh, at the beginning. And he, he definitely thought that he couldn't do something like this. There were times when I was, when I was at school where I would have very little interaction with, with uh, teachers. And I felt as if, if Craig hadn't stepped in and helped me on my way to to something that I never knew I would be able to achieve, then that would have continued on. Um, you know, there were times at school where I did feel quite alone. We just came to a, an arrangement that, that I would train them, invest a lot of time and effort, and we'd ski to the North Pole. We'd go out uh, to places like this, drag tires for an hour or two and just build up and build up. He got very good very quickly and his confidence started to rise and over the weeks of doing this we built up and then I took him up to Greenland my training grounds up there where he's skiing on the sea ice and we taught him everything how to ski how to eat how to dress everything until I actually got to the uh, the pole itself I was continually doubting myself even even once I once I reached Greenland and we were in the throes of the training, I still thought something would happen. I wouldn't be able to pull it off myself. I would let someone down. You know, I would contribute to the breakup of the team in some way. I, I was just I was pretty paranoid throughout the whole uh, the, the whole training process. Really, we used the Russians to drop us off in the Arctic Ocean uh, to ski to the North Pole. Uh, and then everything just came in. Uh, all of the training kicked in. He knew what to do. And to cut a, a very long story short, I mean, we skied to the North Pole. Christopher instantly changed the day we got to the pole. It was worth every footstep just to see his face that day.